What entrepreneurial tricks have you um, adopted in your own life to, to make you more productive in your day-to-day -day life? Mm, more productive. So the, maybe the most important is to create a routine. The second is to block out my time. So obviously the kind of work that I do is, is very knowledge-based. Mm -hmm. So it's spending a lot of time digesting information, assimilating it, and trying to think about how can I present it in new and interesting ways. Mm -hmm. And I found that I need to spend maybe two to three hours blocked out where I can just focus on that, nothing else. So I have two or three blocks in my day where it's just what Cal Newport calls deep work, okay. um, not allowing for any distraction. Yeah, it's not really tricks, it's more of um, the way you work every day today. But for me, I, I need to learn, I've started it to delegate better and then to entrust certain jobs to people. Um, you have to allow people um, to, and, and empower them to do their job um, and not micromanage them. To me, I can't do everything myself and if you, you can't really be productive if you try and do too much yourself. Uh, get up really early. Um, so I get up 4.30 most days. Um, I work on myself actually. I don't check emails at, when I get up. I don't um, do anything that doesn't involve my personal growth. So I'll start with meditating. I'll do like a 10 minute meditation, uh, either about being grateful or dealing with anxiety or dealing with emotional stuff, uh, whatever it is, but I try and get into myself. Mm -hmm. So I get into the headspace and then I'll run for you know whatever it is. I just get a active doing exercise yeah. and then I start to journal. So I'll write down whatever is in my head. So like there might be a partnership opportunity and I'll be like, well, I'm not sure about it. And I'm literally processing my internal dialogue because it's, if you go inside, like you'll find your answers are inside rather than out there in most cases. And it's actually about getting in touch with you and putting yourself on the front foot from a mindset perspective so that as you're, as you're executing through the day, you're actually able to push through those things that start to really mess with your vibe, right? Or that potentially you weren't expecting and there it takes you out, like you lose a client, whatever it might be. Yeah. And you deal with those barriers and those challenges on a daily basis far more effectively um, than you would say if you just got up and you started watching TV or whatever the case is. I actually try avoid the office two days a week. Okay. Um, I'm very strict with what days of the week I'm allowed to have meetings with people because meetings are actually the most unproductive use of time. That's right. So there's a day, like today, it'll be full day of meetings mm. and I probably won't get time to even do emails until I get home and I have to work until 12 o'clock to get all my emails done or mm. just to allocate mm. the work to everybody. Yes. Um, but that's perfect because the next day I have either an office day or a canvas day called canvas days where yeah. I stay in my pajamas all day <laughs> and I just graft. And that really helped me have that principle or discipline to say this is my meeting day this is my admin day this is my work day and this is my creative day and my canvas day is my creative day yeah. it's when i say what products where are we going what's the monetization how are we positioning it what does the slide look like to a board when i present this mm -hmm. and you need that actually um, and my team has been very good also to manage that so they know that these days are her meeting days start and do that otherwise it pushes and pushes to yeah. the next week so very funny huh? because when we started our businesses, we, we always thought that the harder we worked, the better it was. And we used to work mm. seven days a week, 24 hours a day. That's wrong because I always say to my managers, if you're doing, you're not thinking. And if you're thinking, you're not doing. Now, a business requires do and think. Yeah. And the only time that you think is when you actually switch off. When you put your phone down, when you lie on a beach, on a, on a, on a towel, and you smell the suntan lotion, <laughs> and your mind wanders. It's the time where you can best think. Mm -hmm. So I always say balance is the best advice I can give to entrepreneurs. And balance doesn't mean working 24-7, 365. Yeah, that's so true. Mm -hmm.